And speaking of men's health, I recently caught up with Joey and Lauren from Joey and Lauren in the morning on My1027 to hear about this year's Christmas Crashers program. But first, though, Joey wanted to explain why he looks just a little different than usual. Joey and Lauren, it is always fantastic to see you, and you have your little bouncing baby boy with you. We How do. are you guys doing? We do. Hi, we're good. We have little baby Jay. He's, uh, this is his television debut, yes, by the way. Yes, first time on TV <gasps> for this kid. I know. I know. I'm so to make flattered. Sure <laughs> and I wanted to make sure to grow a mustache for Movember. So yes. I wanted to point that out so, Melissa, you didn't think, like, what is Joey trying what, to do? What is up with Joey's face? It's just for this month. Don't worry. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I love Movember. It's an amazing cause and a very important one. And I am incredibly happy to see that you are growing a mustache for that cause. And you look rather Thank dapper, you. my friend. It looks good on Thank you. you. Wow, there I, you go. This is the first time I've done it, so we'll see. <laughs> it's good. It looks yeah. good. All right. Okay. I want to talk to you as well about another way that you guys are giving back to the community. In addition to Joey's Movember nod with his mustache, <laughs> uh, you guys are doing Xmas Crashers. This is something, uh, Christmas Crashers, this is something that you guys did last year. And it was such a huge success. You're bringing it back again this year. Remind everybody, though, how were you able to help local families last year? Uh, well, last year we kind of created the idea. We were just like, how can we give back to local families in our community that are struggling around Christmas time to provide for their families? Um, so last year we were able to get a lot of uh, businesses involved, people that are listening to our show and they hear it and they're like, I want to help a family. So they call, get their coworkers and other employees involved, and they helped actually in partnership with us donate to be able to get families a Christmas. And that's where we kind of developed the idea of Christmas crashers. We were crashing someone's Christmas where we put gifts under their tree and try to make their year. And we're excited to do it again this year. Yeah, and I think, you know, especially this year, it makes yeah. a lot more sense in 2020, maybe now than ever before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and, and you guys, clearly, you are a beautiful young family and you know firsthand how much it means to be able to have a holiday season, but also how hard it can be. And like Joey, like you said, especially in 2020, when so many individuals might be struggling to make ends meet. Um, so so why was it important to you though, to, to bring this back? I think the moment we did it the first time last year, we thought, okay, I, I, you know, it's gonna be great. And then when we heard the stories from listeners, you know, because our listeners nominate families. And so when we heard about these stories about people that are working two or three jobs and they, don't have a car and this is going on one of them may be battling cancer or something and then we saw the reaction from the community we said we have to do this every year and now with 2020 people more and more people have maybe lost their jobs or things have changed um it's been a tough year we all get that and so i think we knew bottom line we had to do it again because of the stories that we hear and really how the community comes together to where we're just sitting here we just try to help connect the dots and it makes people's Christmas. Okay, so tell everybody, how does this work? How can we get involved? So just go to my1027fm.com if there's a family that you know um, that could benefit from Christmas Crashers, a family in need that is struggling this year, that we can help give them a Christmas um, in partnership with others in the community who help out. Um, so my1027fm.com, that's where you can nominate. And then businesses, other yep. people, get your coworkers involved. Yeah, that's the best thing to do is really companies. It's it's the most successful when we have people that say, you know what, let me get my coworkers together. Let's all go shopping. Some people just even write a check or say, hey, this is what we can do. So if you want to get involved with your business, go to my1027fm.com. You can search even for my1027 or Joey yep. and Lauren on Facebook. And that's and where you can become there. a partner. I think there will be a link up there that says um, become yep. a partner with Christmas Crashers. Okay, so there's two ways people can get involved. They can either nominate a family in need right now that they know would really benefit from this. And then also you can be someone who donates and you're looking for, it sounds like a wide range of options for people to be a part of this, a business, oh, yeah. um, maybe somebody who wants to adopt a family and help uh, help you guys uh, collect what that family needs. And all the information's on your website? Yes. Yep, my1027fm.com. Wonderful. Okay. And then what's, I, I want one really quick. I want a one really special message from both of you as a beautiful young family to those out there right now. It's going to be okay. Things will get better. Um, sometimes I think we think 2020 feels like it's never, this is all unprecedented. We've been through tough things before as a country. We've been through things. It will get better. We'll be good to go. 
And I always say be kind to each other, especially now more than ever. There's just so much going on in the world. And I think for me, it would be just be kind, just love people around you, reach out, help out as much as you can and be willing to accept help too. I know it's hard for people to accept help from other people and I think it's really important to do so. So be kind. And that's a perfect message for everybody. Be kind. And you can listen to Joey and Lauren in the morning on My1027 FM starting at 6 a.m. weekday mornings. They are a hoot. And they also have a podcast too, by the way. It's called Crazy Happy Life. You should check that out.